Chris says, women sabotage themselves. One of men unseen purposes is to save women from themselves. God never spoke to Eve. So who gave her the garden rules? Ooh, bars. But here's the thing, though, Chris. I do feel as though men should try to correct women. You know what I mean? And lead them and guide them properly. But I'm also a strong advocate for don't waste your fucking time either. You know what I'm saying? And what I unfortunately see, Chris, is a lot of men being like, okay, I'm supposed to do this because I'm a man. And so I see them going above and beyond and ultimate, ooh, excuse me, ultimately wasting their time trying to correct a woman and save a woman when she's not even trying to do that shit for herself. That's why I tried to make it abundantly clear earlier. Like it's all about being with a woman that's receptive to the correction. Like trying to save somebody that is committed to killing themselves. It's a lost call. Trying to save somebody from drowning when they want to drown. All they want to do is make, make you drown with them. I, I want to go out there into the middle of the motherfucking ocean with the sharks. You can't, you can't stop me. And it's like, even though you are a man and you could know what's best for her, you could be like, look, sis, if you go, if you go out into the middle of that damn ocean with them sharks, you're going to get eaten up, going to drown, and you're never going to live. Like, it's just going to be bad news for you. If she then in return says, well, that's my choice. That's my life. That's what I want to do. And you can't stop me. Don't stop her. And I see so many of you guys going out into the middle of the fucking ocean where the sharks are with her trying to save her from herself and you end up getting eaten alive. So what was it all for in, anyway? When you could have used that same energy to maybe save another woman from herself that was ready and willing to be saved. You know, a, a, a wise man once said, don't save her. She don't want to be saved. Right. And so you guys have to really internalize that message. Amen. And stop trying to save people and women that don't want to be saved because you end up sacrificing yourself in the midst of doing that. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Shay. She says, uh, incentivizing bad behavior is the worst thing to do. If hoes were known to be broke and homeless, we'd see more. Hallelujah. If hoes were known to be broke and homeless, we'd see more women promoting purity. Amen. Amen. Fellas, I know it's within your nature as a man to provide, protect, lead, teach. However, be careful. Thanks again, Miss Shade. Be careful because so many of them can feel like, oh, I can be like her. I can be like the exception, right? Because here's another level and layer. You have a 304 that was sad, down and out. Oh my God, I just messed up my life, but I'm ready, I'm changed now. I'm ready to do the right thing. Hercules, Hercules, come save me. And I'm gonna be a good wife, I'm gonna be a good woman. And a man feels sorry for them. Dun, 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 dun. Captain Save a Ho come to the rescue. And let's say that she was sincere. She was genuine. It's two sides to this. Let's talk about the first side. She was sincere and genuine. She been there, done that. She's trying to change her ways. She found her a Captain Save a Ho, polish her up, clean her up. Boom, bop, bam. I'm a, I'm a, re, I'm a reborn woman. Other young ladies or women are looking at her like, oh, 
This bitch was a hoe her whole motherfucking life. She was all about getting that cash, getting that head, that bread, then leave. She was all on that. That was her whole life. So if she can do that her whole motherfucking life, then turn around and have a nigga save her, I can do the same motherfucking thing because after all, I'm a bad bitch too. But it's factors and levels, right? See, they don't factor in to the equation that that exception to that rule was attractive. Shit. But again, we've been lied to. We all bad bitches. It's like, no, you're not. Everybody is not a bad bitch. Okay, everybody. Let's say it for everybody. Everybody is not a bad chick. Everybody is not beautiful. Some of us need a lot of work. And we have people out here saying the most sloppy. The most undesirable. Bad attitude having. See, all of that factors into your beauty. If your mentality is off, personality is off, behaviors, ways of action, you ain't in shape, you ain't taking care of your damn self, you ain't eating right, skin fat, fucked up, ain't drinking no damn water, you're not beautiful, ma'am. But we live in a world where they'll tell you, 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 you still beautiful, and you deserve the best, and you deserve everything, and you this, and you that. And so we have it in our delusional ass minds. And we are the worst version of our damn selves. That, oh, I can do that too. Oh, no, you can't. That was the exception. The exception that was open to correction. Amen. So it happened for her. But again, we have it in our minds. Well, she did it. I can do it too. Not quite. Then you have another level and layer to it. To where... Again, I've been out here in these damn fields, in the motherfucking streets, the sewer, bars, clubs, my whole motherfucking life, living my best life. Fuck these niggas. Yeah, I said it. Fuck them niggas. Y'all know what Big Chris said. They they out here on that Big Chris energy. Yeah, I said it. Fuck them niggas. Now you ain't want to hear country nigga rap. Five ounces in. They on that energy. And then, let's say a man come through and he's like, you know what? Let's go ahead and wipe, I'll wipe you up. Another exception to the rule, right? So then he wipes her up. But let's say that she's still on the same type of time. She's still on that bad bitch shit. To where, you know, hold on, let me, let me pull up the banner. Let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. She like this, y'all. I'm still a real mamas. I was able to bag me a husband. He a provider. He a protector. You know, I was able to get my husband taking care of me and my 90,000 kids. Show the fuck did, bitch. I told y'all we can be out here our whole motherfucking life living our best motherfucking life and still get wifed. Period. Facts. I came through like the motherfucking gross sisters with my motherfucking hand out the fuck with my Lord for a quiet wig and bangs the fuck with my wet and wavy vampire in Brooklyn lace front bitch with the beard to match bitch. Show the fuck did. Show the fuck did. And I still got my provider protecting husband. So you can do the same thing too, sis. The fuck? Didn't they be trying to discourage y'all out here? They don't know what they talking about. They be out here trying to lie to us, scare us into submission. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, I said it. Fuck them niggas. And they like, oh, see? She can do it. I can do it too. So what Shay Shard, they said was facts. Y'all laughing. I'm dead ass serious. Stop rewarding that shit. Because y'all had these, these hoes out here souped up in the head. Like, oh, yeah, she did it. I can do that shit, too. And you can't. And you can't. I don't know why y'all laughing I'm dead ass serious. I just don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, the bang gang. The skeet bang gang. Look, stop saving these hoes now. I said, stop saving. Don't save her. 
She don't wanna be safe. She don't wanna be. I wanna be safe. They saying that shit when they old, dried up. Me help. Vamp life. Hold on. Come on now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Lord have mercy. Don't do it. Jane, please don't do it.